playlist today. Today I'm here to share with you guys this very cute, kind of professional, mid-length, bouncy looking wig and it's from samsbeauty.com. Sam's Beauty sent me this wig to share with you guys and they are an online wig store. They have a lot of different wigs, mostly synthetic wigs, so they're very reasonably priced and they have a lot of different brands and different colors and different styles. So make sure to go ahead and check out their website if you like this wig or if you're interested in something else. But the wig I'm wearing today is called Cherise. This is the model and I have her in a number 1B which is an off black color and it's a synthetic wig. It's a lace front wig. So this is pretty much like your classic wig. It's a very reasonable length. It's not too long. It goes down a little bit past the shoulder. So for those of you who are more on the conservative side, it's definitely a cute wig and it's not too short. It's just like the perfect length for the fall, honestly. And it is meant to be worn as a side part, so you can kind of flip it over and get a little bit of that bang effect. So far, I have not had any shedding or any tangling with this wig, so I'm very happy about that. And with Outre, their wigs are made pretty solid as far as the shedding and tangling. So with this wig, it's not something you're gonna have to worry about. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the construction of the cap, how I got the parting to look like this, and then I'll tell you a little bit about my thoughts about the wig. So this is a construction of the cap at the top here. We have one comb right here, and then we have another comb right here. So there's two combs at the top, and the combs are not aligned right in the middle of the wig, they're on the sides. So it truly is made to wear as a side part. And then there's also a comb here at the bottom, and there are adjustable straps to tighten up the wig and make it a little bit tighter if your head is small. The band is pretty stretchy, so you do have a little bit of room if you have a larger head. The inside of the cap is also breathable, so the air can pass through and get into your scalp, and that's always a good thing. Right here, you see the parting space at the top. It curves like this, so it's not a whole lot of lace at the top, but the line does go pretty far down on your head to look realistic. So this is me just plopping the wig on top of my head and if you look at the parting there is lace parting the parting is here however it's very very little for those of you who don't like messing with wigs at all and who are gonna just literally plop the wig on this is what it's gonna look like it still has a realistic look but I do think that you may need to go in and do some plucking if you really want it to make the parting look natural so I'm gonna use my tweezers and I'm gonna pluck out the hairline a little bit add some concealer to it and see what it looks like after doing that. Okay, so this is after plucking a little bit and putting a little bit of concealer in the parting. I used my concealer from Glossier for the part, so check it out. everyday kind of like a work wig or professional looking wig I don't necessarily think it's constructed the best I don't really care for the parting the parting gives you only a tiny bit of space you can't flip it or flop it you have to use this parting I think it's great for someone who's not fussy about wigs and who just wants something standard to grab and go it's great if you're looking for something really simple with a little bit of flair and bounce but not having really big expectations i do like the texture of this wig it does have a little bit of that yakky texture so the density is there it does have volume and like i said it does have a little bit of that like relaxed blown out texture so it's not silky straight it's not stringy straight it does have some texture which is really nice i do like that the wig comes in a lot of different colors so if you wanted something more bold, like this red, I think that would be really, really pretty. And they have lots of other colors, like 
violets, kind of like a fiery red. They have blondes and browns. So maybe if you got in a different color or two-toned, it would give you a different vibe because the curls are really nice. I like the flips and curls and I like that it's not over the top, it's not too much, and it's good for pretty much any age range. So I do think it's worth checking out. You can also curl it up to 350 degrees if you wanna curl it some more or even if you wanna straighten it. So if you guys have any questions about something I didn't touch upon in the video, please leave me a comment and let me know. Thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family and I'll see you guys in the next video. Big kisses, Mwah. peace, love, and light.